Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining. Welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to go ahead and share with you my Project Pan 2018. I'm going to try and go through 18 products in this year. So if you guys are interested in seeing what they are, keep on watching. So this is my first time doing a Project Pan products maybe that I do want to go through and use up uh, so I can you know, kind of work through my makeup and get down because as a makeup junkie, and I'm going to say it, I'm a make makeup junkie, makeup addict, beauty addict, beauty, I'm, I'm just, I, I love it. And I could go crazy in purchases, and I have. I'm actually going to throw some things away because I couldn't use them anymore. And I thought, man, I need to like slow it down. I I want to keep up and like share with you guys some reviews and everything because I love doing that. I love trying things out myself. Some of these I have not used in a good while too. So let's go ahead and get started. I believe L Ellis for Living has started to encourage a lot of other uh, ladies out there and gents. So I thought I would jump on in. Like I said, it's, I don't know if I'll really actually get through them and finish them up. Some I probably will. I know I will. Some I might not, but I just want to go through them and use them and get through as much as possible, if anything. So the first two products I have here are primers. First one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. Really like this primer. And uh, so I want to go ahead and use this up. It is... Um, it's starting to get down there. I can feel it. So I, I think, I know I'll get through this. This will be done in no time. And the same with this one, although I can't find the lid, but it's the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. So I'm going to use the Poreless uh, Face Primer from e.l.f. And like I said, I can't find the lid, but I know those two items, definitely, they'll probably, I'll empty them in no time. Two concealers that I want to try and get through is the Wet n Wild Coverall Concealer. I want to try and get through this, which as you can see, I probably might get lucky and be able to get through this and finish it up. This one I'm not so sure, but it is. I love this concealer, but I just want to use it more and get it used up. But it's from the Bourjois Healthy Mix collection. But with this concealer, a little bit goes a long way. So I don't know if I'll be able to go through it and finish it up or not. I'm going to go through the foundations that I'm going to use and the bourgeois that goes with that set with the concealer that I had got from my in-laws. This is the bourgeois healthy mix foundation. Love this foundation, but I want to get through it and finish it up if I can. So let's hope I can do that. Cover girl ready set gorgeous. Uh, I, I just want to get through it. it. It is a nice foundation. I am liking it. I actually put it on today and I, I did try to put some of my products on today. Uh, not all of them, but some of them from from in here. Laura Geller's Balance and Brighten. I swear this thing is hard to get through. I finally at some point don't have that dip like it is flat. So I have hope that I'll get through this. I totally forgot about this bronzer here from Physi Physicians Formula, the BB uh, Beauty Balm Bronzer. This one's in light to medium. And this was a very popular bronzer before the butter bronzer. I know a lot of people have talked about it a lot and I need to get through because I, I do have a lot of bronzers and blushes. I started getting into those a lot. Some blushes here. The City Color has really, it's a hit and miss, but they do have some really good blushes. And these ones, the B Matte ones are really good. I mean, this one is in Blackberry. I love this color, Blackberry. It is just so pretty when you, they're, they're powdery, I'm not going to say they're not powdery, but just beautiful color. I thought, you know what, I want to go ahead and use that up. Laura Geller, back into Laura Geller. Honestly, I was watching Dana, Dana Ann, is that her name? I like watching her a lot of times on here on YouTube. And she had mentioned about how Laura Geller's blushes, especially the baked ones. Like I do have one of her gelato ones, similar to her highlights. I only have one blush of that, but these baked blushes are some of my favorites. I have two here. One is a little mini me and she reminded me of this one here. I 
You never really got to really go through it that much. And it's just a little mini one, so I might be able to get through this one. This is her uh, Blush and Brighten in Sun Swept. These are beautiful blushes. I just don't know why not many people talk about them. And it does, it gives you um, this bronzy, almost glow of a blush. I don't know how to... But that's it right there. The other one is Pink Grapefruit, which is one of my favorites from her. And that is probably one of her iconic best selling in the baked blushes. And that and Pink Frosting, I think is the other one. But here is Pink Grapefruit. Oh, just love this one. Uh, this one, I don't know how fast I'll be able to get through it. But that's the Pink Grapefruit. And so I thought, yes, going through those. Mally, I have some of her her packaging, her collections, everything's changing, you know, how the, a lot of companies do. And this is in some of her old packaging. And I have a lot of her products in her old packaging that I really need to go through. So I pulled this one out and this is in pink glow. I thought this would be really great to work into with, you know, spring and summer starting to come. And it is really pretty. It is a really pretty color. So yeah, as you can see, it's, it will give a nice, beautiful pink, pinky color to the cheeks. This is supposed to be an ombre blush, but I kind of consider it a highlighter topper thing. And it's from the Hard Candy, which I don't even think they even have these anymore. It's They're getting all new packaging anyway. So this one's in Punch. I do have the other one too, but it's more of a highlight kind of a, this will probably go really good over top of that Mally's, you know, pink glow. So, you know, as you can see, like, it's just a glowy pink. I wish I would have gotten more into the Buxom line, especially in their blushes. This here, again, it's more like a highlight, though, I think. But <clears throat> it came in a kit that I got this and a lip product, I believe. I don't know. It was like one of them sets, you know. Uh, this is Levitate. We'll go on this other side. But that's what it, it, it's more like a highlight, I think. Like here you can't tell. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off. Right there it is. I just find it to be more of a highlight. Eyeshadows. I have lots of eyeshadow palettes. Some I have not even used in a long time. Some I've only used once, maybe twice. <laughs> it's crazy. So I thought these ones I'm going to work through throughout the year. This was sent to me by the Bonnie Shop. It's one of their stick eyeshadows, which I think their makeup was pretty good of what they sent me. I did do a review on one of their eyeshadow palettes. I think I might even did a look to show you guys the, the blendability and pigment to them. I, they're really good. I mean, I thought so anyway. This is their eye color stick in Nevada Gold. There you can see it right there. And I thought I could use it as an eye base or in the inner corner, actually. Yeah, could probably actually do that for in the inner corner. Let me try that out. Because I didn't do that here anyway, so. Use that for the inner corner. So I can use it for on the eyelids as a base by itself, uh, inner corner. Yeah, so that will that will work. The other one from uh, the Body Shop, this palette I picked right here, the Down to Earth. It's in the first one. I think they were all called Down to Earth, but there was like number one, two, three. I have one in, I don't know what the other one is. It's like in green, some green shades or something. This is more neutral, uh, kind of a neutral palette a little bit. And, but they are really good. The Naked 2 palette, I have Naked 3 and 2. 2 and 3, that's it. This one here, I have no idea why I don't show it enough love. You guys probably know what it looks like. I mean, it's more cooler tones in here than warm tones. I don't mind these palettes. In Urban Decay eyeshadows are hit and miss for me. Funny enough, the one I used the most that I grabbed so much, I actually had to stop myself for a bit because I was using it nonstop when it first came out was the Gwyneth Stefani one. And it was just, that, you know, it had some of the pop colors and bold colors on the bottom, but it was mainly a neutral palette. I don't know. I just, I gravitated grabbing that thing a lot for some reason. Mally's 
Ageless Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. I figured I wanted to work through this one here because I did purchase it a couple years back when it was on, I believe, QVC. And this is it here. I probably used it, I bet you I've only used it twice. Maybe three times if I'm lucky. All right, so shout out time. I have two people I want to do a shout out to. The first shout out is to Hot Mamas Live, and it's two beautiful women here on YouTube. It's Jacqueline and Lisa and their sisters. They are in Canada, and I have got to know them actually also in the uh, MAB group, the Middle Age Beauty group that I was in. So these two ladies here. I really enjoy. I like seeing two sisters together, you know, sharing the same love, same passion, you know, they kind of get each other. Uh, that doesn't always happen. Like my sister doesn't really get into the makeup as much. She's really into photography. So that's like her love and passion, which let me just say, my sister, my sister takes exceptionally amazing pictures. And them two both use love the passion of the beauty and they'll do like little mini reviews and do try-ons with their maybe boxycharm box or some other stuff that they picked up and purchased i don't know i just really enjoy them and i think you guys would too so i'm going to link down below to their channel okay and then the next shout out is to annie p beauty defying age annie i got to know through a shout out from somebody else which i'm not really i'm not really sure who it was she is very knowledgeable with skincare. She uh, is really studying a little bit more about, you know, the ingredients, what goes in products, even with makeup. She also helps a lot of doggies, like dogs that uh, probably come from a bad situation. And so she's like a little foster mommy, but she does have several other dogs of her own. So I think that's really great. Shares her tips and ideas. Uh, she does some looks. She does just like a lot of us do, you know, shares a lot of stuff about beauty, but I feel like where she really um, is very helpful is with the skincare and her journey and what she's doing, you know, with um, maturing skin. So I'm going to put a link down below to her channel, like I said, with both Hot Mama, Mamas and Annie. So please go down and make sure you go ahead and check them out and show them some love and subscribe if you like. So all right, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. This is my Project Pan 8 2018. I will keep you guys updated as I go. I'm going to probably wait about three months before I jump on and share with you guys. If you are not subscribed to my channel, would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as you hit that bell. The bell will notify you of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. Get a notification by the email. Uh, it's very helpful because if you want to stay connected and watch my videos, so make sure you hit the bell and the subscribe button. I really appreciate that very much. And also, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.